Okay, hi everyone. Um, just thought I'd do an update on the diesel heater. This is the new one I got. Uh, a suggestion which I was going to do, but uh, I was trying to fathom it out without. I didn't think it was the pump because the pump keeps on working all the time and it, not all the time, it just stops after a period of time. I thought, well, it can't be the pump because it's working. So this is the um, new one I got. So with the pump, just pull that off the top of the pump. When you want to take the power, the connection off, just push that in like so. That'll disconnect the, the, the lead, pull that back as well. And on the bottom of this one, we've got a little short rubber hose. Undo that, take him out and um, slide him from the bottom up because you can't go the other way because of the connection, of course, here. All right. And then we're going to, we popped it into the other machine, which I'll show you now. Okay, so we popped it into the the old faithful, all we did was take the bottom hose off the old one, put it onto the, the new pump, the top hose off, put that on, and then connect it up. It's just sitting upright at the moment. And it's been running for 10, 12 minutes now, but normally it can only run for two minutes. But it would only run with normally until the bar, not to the second, before the second of the red bar. And it's absolutely red hot. So, if I'm going to have to order a new pump, um, we'll just, before we finish, I will just um, show you how we're going to connect it all back up again. We'll switch it off and then fire it back up to a double check. Uh, and I think we've solved the problem. Is it was the pump. Unusual, because it worked for about three or four minutes and then it was stopped. So, I'd like to know if there is a problem with these pumps or is it quite common? I mean, they do sell it, so I presume what I might do is buy a quiet one, one of these new quiet pumps, and put it in the van diesel heater. If we're not going to the gym. Right, so I'll get back to this. So that's 18 minutes, 19 minutes, so we're going to shut down. let it cool down, I'll refit the pump properly, tighten it all up, tighten the wires up, put the um, air duct in, this is roasting, oh beautiful, yeah that's great, top the air duct back in, pull back together and then we'll fire it up again, we'll give it another test and we'll get some more diesel, 10 litre tank, if I put this on the lowest setting, I think I did a video on this, it lasts about a week as we're using it and more if it's, yeah, you know, if it's not too cold. Okay, let that cool down. Uh, we'll fit the pump and get back to it, and then we'll give it another try. Okay, I'm going to pull the old pump out. I if I can. There we go. Pretty straightforward. Oops, sorry. Don't know what's wrong with it, but it's not worth worrying about, so... And the next thing to do now is to undo the bottom of that. It's always best to wear some gloves because diesel absolutely reeks, doesn't it? So, what I'll do is pull that off, put my finger over the end, put the diesel from coming out. There we go, push the pump in. So, and then just push it back on. Ah. Turn it round. Ah. The gloves you need to get are some which are like, are not, they don't um, disintegrate or, um, I'm not bothered about it really, but diesel does stink. You go in the house and my wife usually says, oh. Right, so that's it, pretty straightforward, really. That's it. Line up how you want. <sighs> right, let's get these off. You want to cover the control unit and diesel. And then bring it around. No, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to fit the um, the hose in the front there. Okay. OK, 
Okay, so then all back together. Cables nicely tucked in. Control unit ready to go. On. So, heater plugged. We've got two bars of heat because it's still warm from before. So we know the unit's fired up because it tells you that, and then we're just waiting for the pump to kick in now. So we should start getting some burn. And it should start heating up. Hopefully, get the gym, get back in the gym. Well, we've got a spare, so it was a bit awkward because the exhaust was going through the door, so we were getting a bit choked, which is not the best. It's all right. It wasn't that bad, but just you could smell it. It wasn't very pleasant. Okay, let's wait for that pump. Can you hear the burner? Lovely sound, isn't it? I've got four of these now. Four. Four. Okay, we'll uh, wait for a minute, take you up to full power. So why it's firing up, so we changed the go plug. We looked at the atomizer, that was all clean, it was all clean inside. We then changed the motherboard, this is the old one, which is still very good condition, so we'll keep that. I'll put that back in the box, okay, back, back in the box. Um, what else did we do? The only thing we hadn't done, we changed that, we changed that. I reset all the settings on the clock, go back to factory default. Um, so the last thing was the pump. I checked all the wiring, I didn't, I don't know if I did a video on that one. So I did all the wiring, they were all nice and tight and done. So it was the pump, which the pump was working, the initial burn, until it got up to about, well, almost full, full power, and it just cut out. So I thought it can't be the pump, but it's working. But any ideas, please uh, leave it in the description down below. Leave a message down below. I really appreciate that. Okay, saga over. We've solved the problem. Power down to the pump, do some training. Don't need that hot. Take it right down to the lowest. Take over. Do eight. I do like this control unit. I've got the blue one on the other machine, and it's not as responsive as this. I've got to admit. There we go. So. Yeah, I don't know if you can probably find here now. Take it down lower. If you enjoyed the video and it's helped somebody else who has the same problem, maybe check the pump first and then work your way that way. But like I said, it wasn't that expensive. So take care and we'll catch you in the next one. All the best.